Check it, check, 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 mic, check, mic, check. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, troops, wherever you are in the world, and welcome back to the channel, Mark. That's me, my words. As always, before getting to this very quick video, please continue to hit that subscribe button down there if you do enjoy the content. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Here we are, troops. Monday, the 19th of December, Christmas week. It was the week before Christmas. Uh, anyway, here we are. Uh, what's been going on? Well, uh, you look at the chart there. Pretty much see what's been going on, troops. An absolutely terrible week last week. Uh, finishing red all across the board. The market was completely and utterly hammered. But I do want to talk specifically today about Ape and another ticker, Clovis. Uh, so let's have a quick look at AMC. Uh, you can see here we tested that uh, support and resistance line around $6.40. We failed that. We bounced right back off it. And we have just been in decline for the rest of the week, troops. We are looking at hitting uh, a very, a very low for, a, for the lowest low for quite some time, going all the way back to 2021 level. So not looking great, troops, I'm afraid, on AMC. Although Avatar, The Way of the Water or whatever it's called, not my kind of film. But I do believe it's doing quite well at the box office. Can we keep relying on these one-hit wonders? Uh, let's hope so. Um, I'm not a big movie fan, to be honest. But, you know, if it's bringing the money in, so be it. I did see that they launched a credit card as well, an AMC credit card in the middle of a financial crisis. Again, not really sure that's the best business decision, Adam Aaron. But, you know, you're the CEO. I guess you choose what the company does and does not do. Uh, anyway, Ape, I want to talk about. It's associated to AMC. Obviously, as we all know, another all-time low last Friday, troops, 72 cents there or thereabouts. And I've kind of made a decision on Ape. Um, and here's, here's where I'm at with it. Over over time, I've said that I think it's it's been a very, very bad decision by Adam Aaron. Not only has he diluted AMC through Ape, but he's raised next to no money off the back of it. So for me, it has not gone how he wanted it or expected it to go or how we uh, as holders, shareholders expected it to go or wanted it to go. Uh, so I've decided that if the price is still below a dollar on the first trading day of 2023, I'm going to sell my ape, and I'm going to put it into AMC to bring my AMC average down. That's it. That I'll, I'll be done with ape if it's below a dollar uh, on the first trading day of 2023. And you can hold me to that, troops. On this channel, I make no judgments. I make no promises. I never give price targets. I don't get hyped up about dates. If you've followed my channel long enough, you will know that that is where I'm at. Everybody is free to trade as they wish. I make no um, nothing, no judgment, no nothing on anybody. Um, and I expect the same when I tell you guys what I'm going to be doing. So the end of the year is the cutoff for me. If it's still below a dollar, I'm going to cut it. Obviously, it it came off the price of AMC. So, you know, I'll just put it back into AMC and, and just set it and forget it. Um, but that's where I'm at with Ape, I'm afraid. If it doesn't go back above a dollar by the end of the year, the first trading day of 2023, I will be cutting it and never looking back. Um, I say never looking back. <laughs> if it starts taking off, of course, I'll FOMO in just like everybody else will. But that's where I'm at with Ape. Um, GME, similar story last week, troops, key levels um, that we are watching now. We've fallen out of that trading channel that we have been in for such a long time. We've been unable to recover it, testing that 2217 area. Again, you can see here, I think that was Monday last week. We bounced off it, then we broke below it, uh, unable to get back above it. Wednesday, tried testing it, failed, rejected and then it was just a big sell off from there. Um, so the next key area for me is $19.40. That goes all the way back to around about uh, May earlier this year, and then further back to March this year, pre-split that was obviously. So that's the next key level that I'm looking at on GameStop. Um, and one more to look at. Anybody that's followed my channel, you will know that my little uh, ticker that I followed from the very, very beginning, uh, Clovis Oncology, unfortunately, 
It's met its demise. Is now in Chapter 11, bankruptcy protection. Uh, and I sold what shares I did have uh, before this, before, uh, where was we? I sold in this area here last week sometime. Um, so a loss for me, but overall, not, not, not a loss because I've been trading Clovis since I think like the end towards the end of 2018, mid to end of 2018, where it was at like 17, 18 dollars. So I've made money off it. Don't get me wrong. Um, but the last buy in I got, I, I've took an L on that. And I'm really sad about it, troops, to be honest, because this is a company that that they actually they're actually selling uh, a cancer drug into the market. They've they've got revenue from it, but it's not enough to keep them going. Um, it is in the meme basket as well, so it's been part of that um, drop down, that big drag down. It's been shorted to oblivion. The CEO hasn't done a great job neither. He's always been looking for dilution to keep the share price up. Um, which is not really the way to go. It could have been cutting staff. It could have been doing this, that, and the other, but he chose not to. Um, so a bit of a sad day for me, not because of the money, but because of the company, really. I think they do, you know, something good. So it's quite sad to see that kind of company. Uh, if it does come out of Chapter 11 successfully, sells off some assets, you know, gets a buyout or whatever, I will look to get back into it. Um, but for now, I took a big L on Clovis. So that's it, troops. That's where we're at this week. Um, bit of an up and down for me, bit of a roller coaster week. So I'm focusing on AMC and GameStop again. As I've said, Ape, if it's not over a dollar by the end of the year, I've made my mind up. I'm selling it and I'm going to put what money I do get back from that into bringing my dollar cost average down on uh, AMC. And then I'll just say and forget it. And next year, we go again, troops. I'm going to reset. The trading account, I'm going to try again uh, and see what we can make from day trading from early next year. So that's it, troops, for me, for this one. Uh, I will be back next week. It's Christmas. Is the market open next? Next? Uh, no, it won't be, will it? Market will be closed next week. Um, so, yeah, I do wish you all, as always, uh, do take care of yourselves and each other. But more importantly, have a great Christmas. I wish you all the best for the new year. I will be back online uh, doing some videos, van related, uh, culture related. So do look out for those over the coming days. But in the meantime, troops, all the best. Thank you for sticking with me this year. I've really, really enjoyed putting out my content. I'd love to see my channel get over a thousand subscribers. Next year we go again. I'm just a few short, uh, but we just keep going, troops. We just keep going. Anyway, that really is it. So as always, do take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, troops.